Hey guys, it's Tess. Recently showered me is sitting here in one of the lounges at my residence hall um, to make a video um, kind of dealing with some of the drama that I've seen going on lately. You'd think in a bunch of doll collectors there wouldn't be much drama, but sometimes there is. I try not to be a part of it. Um, and I just wanted to share a few things that I really love about the Reborn community and a few things that kind of bug me about the Reborn community. Um, feel free to leave in the comments below um, your thoughts on it. Some things might bug me and not you. I don't know. So um, yeah, let's get going. I'm going to start with the things that bother me just because I want to end on a good note. Um, first of all, on YouTube in particular, it seems like everyone's trying to make it big, like it's all about who you know or something. Like there are people like Julie's Reborn's Wan and Reborn Princess 53, not accusing them at all. Basically, you know, for instance, if we get people like them, the bigger Reborners, to comment on our videos or something like that, it's like this big, it's this big thing. It's like they're kind of like YouTube celebrities in the Reborn community and, um, it seems like if you know, the more people you know, the more subscribers you get, and sometimes it kind of becomes competition, and I don't really like that because I think doll collecting is just about fun, and everybody sharing their dolls is a great thing. Um, number two, which is probably one of my biggest pet peeves, is I hate the suggestion that people who collect dolls have some sort of, people, reborns in particular, have some sort of emotional void that they need to fill. First of all, I mean, what right do you have to ask me what I've been through in my life? And second of all, even if a reborn collector does have an emotional void, if that's comforting them, what what do you have to do with, I mean, why do you care? Is this affecting your life at all? Not really. <laughs> so just like, you know, let me enjoy my hobby and stop trying to be my shrink. I pay for her. Her name's Laura. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Um, number three. I could go on and on about this. I hate how the media has publicized the reborn community. Every single documentary or interview, it's not like the interviewers are bad, it's just they could pick a more varied selection. Every single time they have a documentary of it, of course they're going to show a little clip of somebody pulling the baked baby out of the oven because like, oh my god, it's a baby in the oven. That is how they're made. <laughs> And normally they explain that, but of course they just have to add that for the shock value. And they always, you know, they always choose the reborners who feed their babies like six bottles a day and change their diapers regularly, buying new diapers and everything like that. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with that. You know, whatever you want to do with your doll, it's cool. But they don't get a varied, you know, bunch of people. Like, I mean, I don't even own a bottle for Tylee. Uh, I just, you know, I change her outfits, I cuddle her. And does that make me not a true reborn collector? No, it doesn't. Some reborn collectors even just keep their dolls in glass cabinets. And, you know, just nice to look at. It's decoration. You know, if you're going to show the reborn community in a documentary, show all sides of it. Because not, you know, we're all different. And it, I mean, it's pure and simple. We're all different. We're not all these people who center our lives around these dolls. And... Anybody who's ever heard of Reborns, who sees that I collect Reborns, they start thinking that I do that. And I'm just like, no. And why should there be this assumption? There shouldn't be any kind of assumption towards Reborn people, because we're all different. Everybody's different. I hate stereotypes. Okay, now to the things that I love about the Reborn community. Uh, first of all, you almost, find, you almost always find an Insta friend in anybody who collects Reborns. Because these are the only people who will not ask you questions and try to question your hobby and be your psychologist and they just understand. Um, two, the pure generosity of the Reborn community is amazing. Um, I mean, there's, you know, we just trust each other, like there's box tradings and stuff like that, and there's even free Reborn giveaways, and that's just amazing that people can open their hearts to give a doll to somebody else, or give, you know, just to be giving and to do good with their hobby. And um, number three, the biggest thing that I love about the Reborn community um, okay, granted, there are some people who collect Reborns who have no emotional void, no psychological damage, no trauma whatsoever. Um, because there, there are people like that. I know, like, two of them. And I don't know many Reborns, so that's, obviously, that doesn't sound like that much, but when you know, like, ten Reborners. <laughs> anyway, um, as mentioned with the emotional void, um, I don't like to look at my 
collecting dolls as an excuse for, you know, I have been through something. And I don't like to look at my doll as the filling of an emotional void because that connects my doll to the void. And really think about this when you, you know, question somebody who has reborns. By saying that, oh, you must be having this doll to comfort you because of this thing that happened to you, that connects our doll to that event. And that's not a good thing. That means our comfort in that doll is gone. You just destroyed it. Yeah, you. And what have you gained? Nothing. So, I mean, just keep your thoughts about that to yourself and stop trying to be our shrink. But, um... Anyway, but uh, <laughs> that turned into almost uh, something that bothers me. But um, what I love about the Reborn community along those lines is that a lot of us have been through something, and we don't bring it up. Like, we just know. We just understand. Um, you know, a lot of the Reborners have been through something really traumatizing, and we don't need to question it. We just know that you know, you've been through something, I've been through something, and I understand. And that's a really, really great feeling to know that you're not alone, especially, I mean, I personally felt really, really alone because my, uh, what I've been through had to do with um, blocking memories out, which is actually something that's very, very rare, especially I did it when I was 11, and most people, if that happens to people, it happens when they're really young. So just like knowing that there are people who, there for me, who are there for me, and even though they didn't have the same exact experience, they just understand it's a really beautiful thing. And um, that's it. I'm sorry this is not on my iPhone. Um, I wanted to do this on my webcam because it looks more like I'm Skyping to the people who walk by. I didn't want anybody to walk in. Um, yeah, and thank you guys for just being awesome, and I love you all.